Hey guys, Bronco Carl 92. So it's uh, Thursday night, September 13th. Um, we're just doing a little work on the uh, leaf vac tonight. Um, here's where we're at. So it's primed. Um, yeah, it's on jack stands. Um, uh, my buddy Brian uh, mentioned to me that this thing might be a little unstable. And actually, it was funny, he must have read my mind because I towed this thing around the yard. Just to see how it was and yeah it's a little wobbly those tires are just too damn small so what i'm going to do is i have the axle assembly that was on that cart um, right there uh, the metal sticker the track width is about two or three inches wider and the tongue's longer so i'm going to use that the support for here um, from that from the uh, from the cart is thicker. I'm going to uh, use that also. And I'm going to probably slide this one back a little bit to add a little extra stability. Um, and then for wheels, well, we have a surprise for the wheels because uh, these wheelbarrow style wheels are taller and a little bit uh, a little bit thicker than the ones that are on here but uh, I'm gonna try something else I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it yet so uh, we'll show you that in a couple minutes and there's the doors as you can see I mean this thing's coming along really nice I'm, I'm really happy with it it's just it's damn heavy <laughs> so uh, let me get situated and uh, I'll put you guys back on a little bit. So I took the axle out. That's it over here. And uh, yeah, look at those tires. Those are the front tires off the 129. Um, or front tires and wheels. Uh, I'm putting a different axle, the uh, Super Steer axle in the uh, front of that 129 anyway, which has different wheels because they have a one inch spindle and these are, these are only three quarter. Uh, but these do have ball bearings in them, so uh, I think it'll help this thing roll a little bit better. But uh, that'll definitely give me, I think, the stability I need. I'm going to have to extend the axle a little bit um, to co to accommodate the wheels. I actually have them on backwards right now, just so they just so they fit and I can roll it under there. But uh, what I'll do is I'll get a new a new piece of uh, a round stock for the center there, and. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's what's going to hold it in place. So, uh, I just got to punch punch some new holes in this thing. Um, just the spacing's different. And uh, I got to put a notch like that one in the front and the back. And uh, I'm going to bolt that under there. And uh, we'll see how that looks. So, we'll see in a couple minutes. Alright guys, so, I got the new axle under there. Or the old axle, whatever. <laughs> And I uh, got the tires on there from the 129. And like I said, I gotta get just a longer rod um, for an axle and I'll uh, make an extra support on it. I'm gonna bring those out just a little bit more, but um, the tongue originally folded inside of itself, um, but the height of it was a little too low for the, um, for the back of the mower. So I basically welded on top there and uh, I've got my height that I need now. And of course our slot was already here. So the dump lever fits right. So that's back in place. And uh, it's definitely a lot more sturdy now. see here so it's definitely a lot more sturdy now body doesn't really just like cracks anymore I'm uh, pretty happy with this Anyway, um, tomorrow I guess I'm going to get a longer rod 
Um, I need like a four foot piece and uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, mount the, uh, the wheels on that and uh, like I said we'll be done with the fab on the uh, on the box um, and uh, I guess after that what we'll do is uh, we'll get working on the mount on there and uh, I don't know maybe we'll uh, have this thing close to done this weekend or Maybe at least we can do some kind of test on it. I don't know. So we'll have to see. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching.